Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back to another prison recipe. Today, I'm going to be tackling yet another neutral loaf recipe. If you missed the first recipe, I will put a link up above and down below. So a little background about neutral loaf. It's also known as GRU, disciplinary loaf, special management loaf, and it is prepared by prisons to serve to prisoners that have done some sort of infraction and is used as a form of punishment or discipline. So rather than having a typical canteen meal, a prisoner will be issued neutral loaf for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, some states in the U.S. have banned this practice, calling it cruel and unusual punishment, but many other states still do this. So in my research, I found several recipes from different states, including Ohio, Illinois, Maryland, New York, and in my previous recipe, I made the Illinois version. Today, I'm going to be making the Ohio version, which I will put a link down below to the original recipe as well. In my previous neutral video, I mentioned that this is often served without utensils, but in the comments of that video, many people that work in prisons and see neutral loaf and prison life firsthand commented that utensils are often not given to prisoners because of safety reasons. They don't want them improvising tools, they don't want them to self-harm, so that is another reason why they are not given utensils. Now this recipe is interesting to me because I really want to know what this tastes like because basically what you're doing is you're grinding up an entire meal all together and forming it into a loaf. So what I've got here is a full meal and this is what I'll be using to make the Ohio version of neutral loaf. So I've got one serving of spaghetti and sauce, two slices of bread, green beans, salad, an optional cookie, I'm going to include the cookie, and I've also got a glass of Kool-Aid. The recipe called for either milk, Kool-Aid, or coffee. I'm gonna opt for the bright red stuff. So we're just gonna dump everything in. Green beans, bread, I'm gonna tear this up a little bit. Cookie, spaghetti, and salad, and a little Kool-Aid to kind of moisten things. Here we go. Now the recipe doesn't specify the size pan to cook this in. It just says to bake it at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. So 20 minutes is not a very long time. So I'm gonna spread this out thinly. Let's see what happens. All right, so there it is. Now I'm gonna pop this into the oven for 20 minutes at 350 degrees. Alrighty, it's been 20 minutes and here, is my neutral loaf. It actually smells a lot like a cafeteria or if you go to the hot dish area of a buffet, it's kind of just a mixture of smells. It smells some tomato, kind of vinegary smells. Not unpleasant, kind of steamy. And that is not at all surprising, is it? Because we just took everything and just blended it all together. Okay, so let's pull it out of the pan. There it is. I'll just cut it into pieces like this. That's it in cross section. You can see the little bits of spaghetti in there. Okay, so here's the finished neutral loaf. It still smells pretty green beanie heavy, although I can smell some of the tomato sauce from the spaghetti in there as well. I was about to grab my fork, but I remembered that this is not usually eaten with any kinds of utensils, so I'll just go ahead and use my hands. So the texture is very soft. It kind of looks like meatloaf. This recipe looks wetter than the first recipe I tried, which was more almost like bread-like. But I also imagine that there's probably variations in terms of how this is prepared. So one batch of neutral loaf might be wetter than others, I imagine. Because of the salad in there, this actually is not that unappealing. You've got kind of a orangish brown color, but you've got flecks of green, which make it a little bit more pleasant. But then I noticed these little bits of brown. I was like, what is that? And that is chocolate from the one chocolate chip cookie that I ground in there. Alrighty, let's give this a taste. Itadakimasu. Hmm. That is not good. 
My first Nutri-Loaf recipe was definitely better than this one. This one, this combination of flavors does not work. I can definitely taste the kale from my lettuce in here. It's quite strong. And there's a little bit of sweetness from the cookie and the chocolate in there. The texture is not pleasant. There's nothing really to chew. It's just kind of a mush altogether. My first recipe, I felt like there was a little bit more bite, a little bit more bread-like. Although that one had less salt in it, it was very bland. This has a little bit of salt. It also has some sugar in it from the punch and also from the cookie. Mm -hmm. As opposed to my first neutral loaf recipe, this doesn't really contain any kind of specific seasoning. Just whatever what was on that spaghetti in terms of that spaghetti sauce is what seasons this. Although there is some onion and garlic in the spaghetti sauce, it's not nearly enough to flavor this whole dish. The texture is a lot like Play-Doh. It's gummy, it's soft, it's moldable. In fact, you know, I could mold this into some kind of Play-Doh-like thing. Like this wants to be a rooster or something. The texture of this one is definitely more unpleasant. Although it looked fine on the plate, all kind of arranged, when it's all pureed together, it's really not very good at all. And the bread kind of gums everything together, giving it this Play-Doh-like texture. The thing that's also really missing from this and the other neutral loaf recipe is salt. There's no salt in this, so it's very bland, and this texture is very mushy and Play-Doh-like. So just kind of an all around unpleasant experience. And that is absolutely intentional because again, this is a form of discipline or punishment. So there you have it, neutral of recipe number two. And this one comes from Ohio. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Be sure to check out my other prison recipes. I'll put the playlist up above and down below. Please also consider clicking the donate button to help support the ACLU. Share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video. Tulu, take care, bye. <laughs>